Today, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my journey to getting my internship with Facebook uh, this past summer, summer 2021. Um, and so, yeah, before we get started, I just want to say real quick, um, not a flex, but low key a flex. I did not get my internship off of having connections. Um, I did not know anybody. My, my dad's friend did not help me out with this. My mother's friend did not help me out with this. This was all me and I don't know anyone who works for any other prominent uh, big tech companies either. So this was 100% me on the grind. And I say that just so you guys know that I was on the same playing field as you if you're looking at this and you don't know anyone because it's, it is a little challenging and it's hard to to not know kind of where to start or you know other things that you can be doing to help you get into those spaces so that's what i'm here for now we can officially start y'all i still can't even freaking believe it like they really want me okay so you guys should definitely have a LinkedIn already. If you don't have a LinkedIn, you need to make one like yesterday. LinkedIn is so valuable. Recruiters are on there and they are looking, okay? And they definitely wanna see what you have been doing. They wanna look at your resume before they're even reaching out to you. Um, I highly recommend um, connect, trying to connect with recruiters at the company that you're uh wanting to get in at you know connect with facebook recruiters google recruiters microsoft recruiters and the reason why you want to connect with those recruiters sorry if i'm jacking up this word i have invisalign in so yeah but the reason why you want to connect with these recruiters is that a lot of times they they might post or their connections may post job openings which is very important they might post job openings or internship information which either way it goes you want to be in that space you know and this is the the easiest quickest way to already put yourself in the space of people who work in big tech so definitely get on it so the second thing i would say which is very beneficial uh for me it was at least is taking advantage of the LinkedIn learning courses. Now, I will say LinkedIn learning course, courses, I'm pretty sure they cost, but if you go to a university, almost all universities pay for their students to be able to have access, free access to LinkedIn learning courses. But definitely take advantage of LinkedIn learning courses if you can, uh, take advantage of the Google certifications, the Facebook certifications, because they do look at those things and that's something that I did do personally. So I don't think it would hurt uh, you to go and spend that extra time learning about a topic through those resources. Um, I'm gonna just share a little bit about kind of what I did uh, to get my uh, first official internship, which is technically my only official internship before I had my Facebook uh, internship. So starting with my university, my university has a student-led advertising agency. And that's how I got in with just learning a little bit more. And of course it's not official, but I think this was a really great starting point. And I think it's a great starting point for anybody who cannot get in on an official internship. Um, from there, I was able to get my first official internship, but due to the pandemic, that internship got canceled and pretty much moved to the fall. But so during, since that internship got canceled, I pretty much pulled up my trousers and I went to work for myself. And here's how I did it. So during the, during the pandemic, when, um, you know, companies started to kind of open up, I pretty much went to small and black owned companies and asked if I could run their social media. And so during this time i ran you know i helped them create you know mock-ups for their social media i helped them learn a little bit more about their social media i was able to help them and help myself to learn kind of what marketing really looks like for businesses so that is uh the sec my second official and unofficial official internship 
And so moving on, I got my third internship, which is my actual real internship. It was a project manager internship. I just say all this to say that, you know, you don't need all of this crazy experience or a bunch of internships, official internships. But I do believe that you definitely need to have some sort of experience. You need to have something. So my last but final point would be taking advantage of virtual conferences. I feel like the only reason why I became aware of my internship was actually from going to a virtual conference. And at the virtual conference, you're able to submit your resume and you're also able to either talk to recruiters one-on-one -on -one or in a group setting. And so I went to a multiple conferences, so I can't really pinpoint exactly which conference it, conference it was that Facebook was at, but I know one of them right off the top of my head is the Multicultural Conference, uh, Multicultural Pipeline Conference, which is for minority students. But anyways, um, from the conference, I was able to submit my resume and I was also able to talk to recruiters in a group setting. And so, uh, at these conferences, Amazon Advertising was there, Procter & Gamble was there, Facebook was there. And so months later, um, a recruiter with Facebook emailed me um, and said, hey, you know, you should apply to this internship. Gave me a little bit of information. I was able to submit my updated resume, apply for the internship, and that's how things got rolling for me. And this is why I feel like virtual conferences they're so important and they're even more important if those of you who are not doing engineering that is definitely how everything uh kind of got rolling for me is going to the virtual conferences and so uh yeah i hope i hope you guys enjoyed the video definitely leave me some comments but yeah until then stay on the grind 10 toes down and you got this you got this all right I'll see you guys next time. Bye.